Good morning, it's really windy this morning, it's quite cold as well, but yesterday we missed uh, a vlog, well, uh, an advent calendar, so uh, James Carter's playlist is listed below on the Cambridge Saxophone website. I'm sorry to miss James Carter if he's a big player of yours. Today we're talking about one of my favourite players, Stanley Torrentine. We're not talking about Stanley Turrentine today, we are going to talk about these reeds, these Ambi Poly reeds from Silverstein. I have a few other things I need to talk about to my regular vlog watchers though, so if you are only interested in the review of these reeds, skip to here and you will get right to the review as you want to see it. Uh, if you're a re regular vlog watcher, I do want to apologise that I've had to kind of stop the saxophone advent calendar on YouTube anyway for the vlogs. I am still doing the playlist, I have the playlist are still on the link below down to Cambridge Saxophone and I am putting together the playlist and the brief biographies. So there is a, a biography there of course of Stanley Turrentine uh, which was day 8, uh, day 9 sorry, day 9 was Stanley Turrentine, day 8 James Carter, so let's go in order, James Carter, Stanley Turrentine, Maceo Parker and today day 11 is Zoot Sims. So head over there to Cambridge Saxophone, the playlists are there for uh, Spotify, Apple Music of course and the YouTube are there as well. So make sure you go over there, check out that music, listen to that music. Uh, let me take you back to the start of today. So today is election day here in the UK. It's a general election that was called. It's the first one in December since 1923. And it's the first one in my lifetime that I've not really been involved with, well, especially in my adult lifetime. And I genuinely am walking to the polling station not knowing which way I'm going to vote. I am severely conflicted. Um, my good friend Dan is standing again for the Labour Party. I, I think Dan's great. I think Dan will be a wonderful MP. But I don't want to show my support for the current Labour leadership because I don't have a lot of faith in them. So I, I, I really am genuinely walking to the polling station and I don't know which way I'm going to vote. So I have voted, went along and voted. I voted for my friend rather than for a party. Uh, I think Dan would make a great MP. I'm not sure if he'll get in. Uh, Dan is a great guy and... Um, yeah, um, he's a guy who, you know, I, I've worked with, but I know there's tactical vote and everything else like that, and I'm not talking anymore about politics because it turns everybody off, because a lot of you are in the States anyway. But uh, interesting times. So the instructions for the Alta Ambipoli read. Uh, come with a nice QR code which you can load up on your phone. Uh, you have to um, soak the reeds first, break it in as if you were doing a cane reed. Um, I do like the way they've got a little thing on the back. Serial number for the reed, your name and email, either, either a business card or if you lose your reed, more likely than not, you know where it is. Better get some water. So the next thing you have to do after soaking it is just to Gently press it into the contours of my mouthpiece with my thumb, which is probably a good idea to do on most reeds actually. Um, it's not something I do a lot of these days. I should do really. Just making sure it pops back. Well first off, I mean obviously I'm only breaking it in at the moment, but the responsiveness, by far the best response I've ever received from a synthetic reed. It really is. It's a little on the harder side than maybe what my usual reeds are. I did tell the guys at Silverstein what I usually take, uh, which for your interest is a, a Daddario Select Jazz 3M. Guys, of course, you could be watching this in the middle of July. And you'll be asking, why am I playing Oh Come Are You Faithful? Well, I'm doing a jazz carols on Sunday. It's obviously December when I'm making this video. And so that's just something I'm running through, ready for a big concert, which is why I've not been able to do these advent calendars, sax advent calendars that I'd hoped to do, because I literally just don't have the time. Everything is just so crazy, and it's uh, 
students for their Christmas sax project. Make sure if you uh, are taking part of it, hashtag Christmas sax. Put some Christmas sax music on the uh, on the internet, either on uh, YouTube or onto Instagram, Facebook, whatever channels you're you're more often on. <laughs> So a few hours later, uh, the reeds had time to uh, bed in. It's also a softer reed. I found a three rather than a three plus uh, in the package. So I soaked that just as I did with the other one. I uh, left it on, did all the usual stuff that they'd asked me to do on the, um, on the mouthpiece, trying to get the reed to seal around the mouthpiece. Uh, and so I haven't played it for about an hour and a half. It's been uh, you know, a, hu a humidity control case. Um, let's see. <laughs> So my first impressions for today, initial impressions, a full five stars for Silverstein. This is the best synthetic reed I have ever played. It's damn close to uh, Kane as well. Um, what I need to do in order to make that judgment is I need to spend a little bit more time playing it. So make sure you're subscribing, make sure you are uh, following what I'm doing, hit the bell button so you know when a new video comes out. But I wanna play more on this. I'm really impressed so far. The response is instantaneous. There's no dead spots in the reed. It really does respond like my best cane reeds. The tone is a little on the darker side, which I like. There's kind of a, a bit more of a core to the sound of the reed. Maybe it's not coming through on the camera mic. I don't know, but to me, uh, in my sound, there is definitely a, a slightly darker core to the sound, which I like about that. Coupled with the responsiveness is quite unusual. Normally, for me, the more responsive the read is, the brighter the read is. So this read is sort of on the darker side, but with a nice response. I want to play it more uh, before I can give you a full on 100% comprehensive review, but my initial review today is very, very, very positive. Um, and I definitely would recommend this Alder Jazz read. I want to spend a bit more time on it before to get to know it, to see what it's like. Uh, for me, the thing with synthetic reads can be after three or four weeks of playing, they just go dead uh, so I'm hoping that uh, hoping this uh, this might be might be a, a different thing <laughs> So we've got time for today. Thank you to Silverstein for the uh, read. I will be reviewing the ligature uh, another day, so make sure you are subscribing. It's a fantastic lig. Uh, check out my last vlog here, which was uh, one of those uh, advent calendars. I am still doing it on the Cambridge Saxophone website. Head over there if you want to see the playlist. Uh, this is what I was up to this time last year. Smash that subscribe button. I'll see you really soon. Bye-bye.